Hi. Pella say. Plitios Merzbacher. Hard to pronounce, right? But thanks for dropping by to learn more about this disease. Let's get right to it. So, the Plitios Merzbacher disease is a leukodystrophy. A leuko. What? Leukodystrophy. Leuko means white, dis is abnormal, and troph is growth. Which means that the white matter in the brain is not growing normally. The main part of the white matter is also called myelin. Why is myelin important? Myelin is important because it protects the axons and allows an impulse to travel very fast along a nerve fibre and thereby getting information from one nerve cell to another. Let's say you have an idea in your head to move your right hand and pick up a pencil. That idea travels as an electrical impulse through fibres from your brain through your spinal cord, hopping from neuron to neuron along the way, out to the peripheral nerves in your right arm and finally to your right hand where motion finally occurs and you start to move your hand to grab the pencil. In a person with PMD, where there is no myelin sheath or very little, the impulse, the idea, leaks out where there is no myelin when it tries to make its way across the axon. This results in little, if any, impulse making it to the next neuron in the chain. OK, I think I understand, but why is it not growing normally in people with Pelitzius Merzbacher disease? Patients with PMD have a variation in the PLP1 protein and the PLP1 gene, which contains the information for the PLP1 protein, which is needed to create myelin. The cells that make myelin are called oligodendrocytes, and they create the layer of this myelin sheath. In case you're interested, you can find out details of the myelin content here. But what's important is that to produce myelin, the oligodendrocytes have a zero error tolerance policy, meaning that if there is a problem in the production line, they can't create the myelin sheaths at all, or only with a very reduced quality. So people with Pelitzius Merzbacher disease have a problem in their production line then? That's right. Patients with PMD have either a duplication, deletion or point mutations in the PLP1 gene. And that is an error, which creates a problem for the oligodendrocytes and therefore, PMD patients have little to no myelin. How common is this disease? PMD affects around 1 in 300,000 people and is therefore considered an ultra-rare disease. Diagnosis is usually done through DNA sequencing. What are the most common clinical signs of PMD? Clinical signs can be very similar to CP and can include nystagmus, hypotonia, spasticity, titubations, stridor, sometimes vocal paralysis in severe cases, feeding difficulties, delayed developmental milestones, ataxia, incoordination of the limbs. Severity of the disease is widely spread from milder forms to very severe forms. Is there a cure? Unfortunately, not yet. But there are treatments for the symptoms and current research focuses on treatments to lessen signs and symptoms of PMD. I would like to learn more about it and get in touch with PMD families. If you want to learn more about PMD and the families, you can find links in the notes below. They would be happy to hear from you.